So, I do realize there is something new I can do with my format, which is very nice. Since we've literally gone through, I've got a little list of things to do this, this stream. We've done the first, I'm going to pretend I've just rubbed that out with like, I don't know, a fingernail. We've done the first three, three things that I wanted to do. A bonus fourth with The Simpsons, I guess, um, for this week and this stream. But I can only turn that into four highlights, which is fair enough. Let's me catch up on things. But there's also a type of content that people ask of me a lot. Someone even asked for it earlier in this stream. And when I make main style YouTube videos about it on my main channel, Daz Reviews, they don't do well. Sometimes they do. Usually they don't. It's, it's very hit or miss and it's very inconsistent. So I'm going to move that content idea and put it on this new channel and do it live. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! You may have heard of another film that, uh, well, I, I mean, it just released recently, actually. Yeah, it's this little thing called The Mitchells vs. The Machines. So this is The Mitchells vs. The Machines. I've set up a whole thing now where for the next 15 minutes, I've got just footage randomly shuffling the entire movie at six seconds at a time. It's, so it's only 50 minutes, not the entire movie, but you get the idea. I watched this film yesterday. I was going to. I was really surprised that it was as available as being on Netflix, but there it is. And now I can just do a review outright live. I've got the, the footage that I would have used essentially anyway, just, you know, with a little less editing prowess. So yeah, this film, shall we talk about it a little bit? Because... I, when I first saw the trailer, I, I don't know what to expect. I was very confused. I had high hopes. Um, I had high hopes for it, but something about it was just like, oh, this has the room to be really bad. And watching it now, I can happily say, hey, it's pretty good. But no, I actually really, really enjoyed this movie. I was worried at first because there is that theme of like the boomer dad dislikes all kids technologies but it was actually just like a good character design rather than like he he ha ha kids stupid kind of storyline it was a nice balance of the both and I and I was like originally a little bit skeptical I was a little skeptical of how they could play it off but actually it just seemed like it was there's a boomer character like him and then there's a gen z millennial character in her and they just both have their own dynamics kind of cliched in like we've heard it before but just also kind of relatable that's kind of what they were going for i don't know i just really liked it and i thought actually it played off quite well in just it's just got character archetypes that they wanted to show off there were jokes that um were a lot more older generation than i expected for the millennial part like um like, you know, they were singing to Numa Numa, which was from like 2008, which I actually, I guess that was the point because that was, that moment came from like 2008. But still, it was a lot less Gen Z and a bit more millennial, but I mean, that was fine. The directing was especially really astounding. Less so, well, the emotional bits were good too, but like the, the comedy was really, really good in a lot of places, which is ironic because now it's only showing the emotional parts, but whatever. Um, like there was the bit earlier you just saw where like, the mom's going down like this massage chair and then the daughter picks her up but like they're moving and the daughter's not moving. Like, ah, oh, just like that kind of goofy element I really, really enjoyed. Well, what are your guys' thoughts on it? You've seen this trailer before and you was at an absolute loss. Yeah, there's... I was like a bit confused on like the pug element that they introduced and like how... I, I guess it was just going for like the easy, funny dog comedy. It actually paid off quite nicely. I mean, the dog was there most of the time shuffling about, but um, there it is. I guess I should say spoilers. I'll say this in advance now then. Like, hey, spoilers. There are, you know, the story happens. But I mean, I have no idea actually what happens in what order. You can kind of predict it as well, though. Like, watching the trailer, I think I made a prediction of like, ah, oh, you know, the family is the last of a robot apocalypse. They saved the world. That is the plot. Um, but all in all, I found it really enjoyable. And I think a part that really, like, brought it over at the end was I learned to not be so cynical about it because the film took itself less and less seriously when the film is intentionally just being goofy and weird it's really nice i don't know like i could just get behind it a bit more and like i think most of the story beats are pretty pretty on point i don't really pay attention to like how the actors perform 
very much in in movies in general. Like if you know if they're an act, if they're a character, they're a character. I'm invested in that. I don't notice. Oh, yeah, that's Angelina Jolie. It doesn't doesn't click in my head. So that's all fine. But it came out a lot better than what I was hoping it wouldn't be. You know, it was really enjoyable. Uh, this is actually, I guess this is the closest thing. Like the the only real grumble I have about this. I don't really have a grumble when I think about it, but like they did show this shot in the trailer, which I'm now showing you, which is going to be really ironic for what I'm about to say. I picked up what was going on here based off of the trailer because they showed this in the trailer. But I mean, after all the delays, they're going to really, you know, there was only so much footage to use. There was a good chunk. There's a good chunk in like the second third that they didn't use any of the trailer footage for. And I'm super appreciative of that. I really enjoyed that. This is a Sony Pictures animated movie that then moved to Netflix. I don't know why, but if you open Netflix, for me at least, it was like the big, loud thing that's showing up. Uh, there's something else from Sony Pictures being made that's also coming to Netflix. I don't know why. It's a transition thing they're doing right now. So, extra easy to access. I recommend you watch it. It's a nice, just wholesome family bit, you know? It will be more connective to the the, if you're the correct age, you know, a parent that's about to say goodbye to their child at college or university will probably find this a bit more attaching than me, who's 25, but, well, I'm not 25, I'm 24. Ugh, no need my, don't need my quarter life crisis yet, but there we go. But yeah, I, I, I don't really think I've got any other major thoughts. I, I liked it more than I expected to, which is nice in itself, you know? Um, I also really like, there's clearly that Spider-Verse element, because it's made by the same people. You know, this is a Lord Miller production, I believe. So, like, I I just liked some of the, the like, there's all these little 2D imagery add-ons that are really fun. And then, like, they have, like, I, I remember watching from, like, I've followed some of the animators on Twitter now. Where, like, the grass in the background is actually a paint tool that they did based off of the stuff that happened in Spider-Verse. It's just really good, you know? Um... I predicted some of the elements that came up later, but I think it's because I've watched too many movies, you know? When you see, ah, this is a thing that upsets the robots, it's like, ah, surprise, surprise, they're going to use that thing to upset the robots later. But it was still just a big, overall, fun time thing. And I really liked the credits where they just show their actual families, which was really, really sweet. Uh, it's just, well, icing on the cake kind of deal, you know? So, really, really fun. The animation style is both conventional and unique at the same time. Yeah, I absolutely agree. It's really, um... I could watch more in this style. I can't explain it. It's like, it's not got that Sony slapstick. It's got an element of that. Like, there is that motion, but it doesn't look so plastic and weird. It's a really nice art style that I can actually really appreciate. Yeah, I would just, um, I'd like to see more of this kind of style. It, and, the, and the type of comedy, the dialogue was actually really good in a lot of places. It's still a little weird that the little brother has such a low-pitched voice, but I got used to it. You know, I liked how it all kind of came together. Yeah. Does anyone else have any other thoughts that they'd like to say? Because I've, while putting my, you know, while it's great and all that I can just make these now quickly and I can put it on the second channel, I can review every movie under the sun at any rate I want to, <laughs> I've been putting myself on the spot this whole time, so I've kind of, haven't scripted my, any of this at all, whereas, you know, the original I have all sorts of high intelligence scripted thoughts. I want to have a red hoodie now because of her, like, I'm like, that actually looks really nice, and then get someone else in stark yellow and a guy in stark purple and a guy in whatever colors they're wearing. I'm like, actually, maybe I should color palette myself. Hence why I'm wearing red today. Plus it goes against the blue very nicely, but you know. It's cartoony almost this design? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's 100% cartoony. They do a lot of cartoony fun stuff. You know, it's really, it's just really like nice and heartwarming. I, I imagine if I showed this to my mum, she'd cry, you know, that kind of thing. Or, um, or like, I would find it a lot more emotionally hitting if I just moved to university, you know. It was just a really nice, fun film. And yeah, obviously it's a shame it got delayed. It was a little weird that they changed from Mitchells vs. the Machines to Connected, and then they changed the names back to Mitchells vs. the Machines. But I mean, it paid off in all sorts of ways. I hope, I hope it pays off as well. See, obviously it just becomes a Netflix show. I didn't pay a penny for this. And so it's kind of sad on that front, because I, I feel like the team looks like they probably had a lot of fun with this, you know? In lots of different ways so oh well I just sort of I hope the movie the best overall I think you know it's just one of those one of those things yeah it's just really I would recommend even if you've seen like all these shots in this review and <laughs> I'll work out this formula in a bit um, over time 
I still just would recommend watching it. It's just a nice, fun thing to do. Plus, I mean, we're all sat indoors anyway, so we might as well, you know, do something for two hours or an hour and a half, however long this is. What about the things that aren't made by PAL? Do they still get corrupted? No, doesn't look it. I imagine everything else isn't smart enough to, you know? Like, an actual toaster can't do much, and it doesn't need to. It, like, it's just... A lot of times, though, I think because this film is so goofy and doesn't take itself too seriously, these kind of cynicalisms I can't really get into, you know? Because it's like, eh, you know, whatever. There's a lot of moments where, like, uh, the robots will be like, ah! Look at these people, and then it's at an angle that they would never act. It's like it was the film's angle, and I'm like, hey, they, they wouldn't have gotten that angle. They would have been over here. And it's like, man, I get over it. It's kind of like I don't usually do that for most films. Usually, I'm like, oh, you gotta get your angles right, but they didn't this time. So, but yeah, it was just a a really nice family film, you know. It's like, I'm I will show it to my family at some point, and like, hey. She's like a, she's a film student. That lines up with me, although she's a bit more puppetry, which is more Carrie's thing, but I don't know. It was overall, a really good movie. Clearly, I need to work on my formula for this section, but like, I would like to, in the future, now that I can, I can just watch more movies, make more reviews, make them in this little, maybe with a bit more preparation work that doesn't glitch my entire computer up, get it all pieced together, and then send them all that and it should be a really nice thing to do going forwards I think it seems like a lot of fun you know so with that in mind I don't think I've got much else I need to say about um, Mitchell's versus the machines it's just a good fun romped romped romp without the T but there you are but yes I will see you next week uh, 8 p.m. UK time on a Wednesday the same as usual for now my name's been Daz you didn't really care Next time, we'll probably play Dead by Daylight. I'll be honest, that's probably what's on my mind right now, so we'll do that. And I'll see you in a bit.